It's Rundin with TJ Free, and in this video, we'll learn how to draw butterflies using the free and open source software Inkscape. If you're not familiar with Inkscape, I have a whole tutorial series teaching how to use it. The first tool that we're going to use is the guides. We're going to hover over and left click and hold and drag out a guide so that we have a center line guide. Then we'll get into the Bezier curve tool and we'll left click. Every time we click, we create a point. So we'll left click, and if we left click and hold, we can create a curved line between the previous point and the point that we're working with. And this we'll use to create the outline of just half of the butterfly. Since butterflies are symmetrical, once we're done drawing this, we can just duplicate and mirror this shape and we'll have the full butterfly. So this is the outline of the wing. Then if we grab the ellipse tool, we can create the body. So we'll just do an oval and a circle here for the head. We can create a more complex part like the abdomen here. And then we'll have these three parts we can uh, align together and change the colors and create a, the body of the butterfly. And these circles can be adjusted in size and change. We can lower and raise them to different levels if we need to. We can even use the ellipse tool to create a part of the antenna. And clicking on it a second time, we can rotate around. We'll move this and we'll connect it using the Bezier curve tool again. So we'll just create a line here. And then we have this. We can go into the fill and stroke settings and go into the stroke style. And then we can change the thickness of this line connecting to this uh, for the antenna. We can also go into the stroke paint. We can change different things about it. We can turn off the stroke and leave just a fill. And then if we need to, we can rotate this again. If we change this little X in the middle, it changes the point around which this oval rotates. We'll right click and go to group. And now these two objects are grouped together. We can right click and go to duplicate. And then we mirror using this button here. And now we have a mirrored, uh, a duplicate copy of this antenna that's mirrored. We'll do the same process for mirroring the actual butterfly wing. We right click and go to group on this whole body section. And now it'll behave as one group. We can select the wing and change the color of the total fill, and then back into the Bezier curve tool, and we can add more details inside of this wing. So just draw whatever shape you want, and then close off that shape, and then we can go to right click and duplicate. Because we're going to clip off this part that's coming out, we go to path intersection to do that. And then we go into the fill and stroke, turn off the stroke paint and turn on the fill paint, and then we can change the fill color. We'll repeat the process again. We get the Bezier curve tool and we just draw another shape in here. And you can look at a picture. It's a good idea. Maybe look at a picture of a butterfly, a real life picture to, to, to make your pattern after. Or you can just do a, a pattern from memory or a creative pattern uh, that you want. But you can draw anything you want. You can add as much or as little detail as you want in here. You can create all kinds of different shapes inside this wing area. And then we right click and duplicate these. And then selecting all of them, we go to path intersection and that will clip off the part that goes out so that it's all evenly right inside of here we don't have to work too hard to, to make a straight line we can just clip that using path intersection we'll change the colors and get in and we'll add some even more detail and you can repeat this process over and over again and in fact in just a minute here i'm going to speed up the video and there'll be a whole series of butterflies that you can look at to get different inspiration just very quickly um, but this just uh, uh, this first one we'll do slow just to show you um, some yeah what the process looks like in more or less real time. We can also use other shapes. We can use a circle. You could even use star or maybe a rectangle. But here we can use the circle. We can just duplicate this shape and place it around different place uh, places on the wing. So you don't have to just use the Bezier curve tool. But this curve tool is very nice because you can create a, a custom shape and have really good control um, over the shape. We can add a gradient in here using the gradient tool. So here we fade like from a white to a transparency. So it fades into the color behind it, which was purple in this case. And if ever you have the same shape that you want to um, have again, you can always just go to right click duplicate and duplicate that shape as many times as you want. You can even resize the duplicated one uh, if you want it to be a different size or a different rotation. And we're just about done adding detail in here. And with these paths, you can always use the Edit Path by Node tool to change the nodes after you've already drawn it. If you want to make fine adjustments, um, that's something that you can do uh, as well. Duplication is your friend when doing patterns like this. You can duplicate um, simple or complex shapes, um, and you can really it can save you a lot of time um, rather than having to draw things over and over again. 
and gradients are just drawn on using this gradient tool from the left hand side you left click and hold and drag that gradient out and then you can change either end of the node and you can change the color by clicking on the end of the node too if you're not familiar with the gradient tool you might just do a little bit of uh, brushing up on how to use that when the wing is about finished we can left click and select the whole thing and then right click and go to group now we have these two groups we can duplicate the wing and mirror it and just bring it over and we'll attach each side or just drag each side to the side of the body and this is the final butterfly select the whole thing and then you can right click and go to duplicate we'll pull out our body first and then right click and go to group and now we have a grouped uh, butterfly and then for this next one uh, we can just do the exact same thing we can use our original body we could change colors on the body and so i'm going to speed up the video now and i'm just going to put a little bit of music on but i hope you enjoy seeing these uh, different options this is sped up very very quickly but it'll just give you an idea you can of course create your own uh, by looking at a picture or just create whatever uh, you want in these butterfly wings but i hope these give you uh, some good inspiration for creating butterfly wings if you have any questions or comments i hope you'll leave them below really appreciate you watching this video and look forward to catching you in the next one